Blunderbuss and Pistols on Ossabaw Island, William Hovey Smith, 2012. This is me, I'm Hovey Smith, and I'm the author of Extreme Muzzleloading. And sometimes I go to unusual places and take some very unusual guns. On Ossabaw Island, you get there by boat, and you drag your camp in, and you set it up, and you go for a three-day hunt. And here's the check station. And you go there, and you pick out your particular hunting area. You get hauled out on a cotton wagon like this, and you get put out in some really wild and beautiful country, like this huge oak tree. Now, I hunt with blunderbusses, and look at this one. So, we are going to take trusty blunderbuss here and shoot it with a load of 54 caliber round ball and 80 grains of triple seven. Now on this hunt I used two pistols, a CVA Optima and a Remington 1858. Now the smaller barrel pistol up top is the one I used and the larger one I use on Now that's what the smaller caliber pistol did. Now, Blunderbuss was out for three days, but hadn't scored, so I used my pistols this time. And I first got the deer with the Optima pistol. Right here, uh, the deer came in from the right, and it got uh, into some oak trees about 50 yards away. So I carefully lined up my Optima pistol with my red dot sight and shot. This is a special muzzleloading hunt, and you can use muzzleloading guns. And I happen to like muzzle-loading handguns and blunderbusses and crossbows and other strange things. So all of these came with me to Ospa Island, and all of them are legal on this hunt. This particular deer was shot at a range of about 50 yards with this Optima pistol using a 295-grain power belt bullet and a 100-grain charge of white-hot Hodgdon pellets. All right. That bullet hit right here, and it made a very large entrance wound, and the deer went down instantly. Blew it. Well, as true with many spine shots, none of the rest of the organs were affected. So the deer was down, but as the British would say, lively? So it was struggling, and I knew it was in trouble when it put its head up. It did struggle to its feet. Well, I was in my deer stand in my tree 50 yards away. The gun was empty. What to do? I also was carrying this five and a half inch barrel Remington 1858 44 caliber percussion revolver, legal on this hunt. It has six shots. As the deer was struggling to get up and run away, I fired five of this revolver's six shots at this deer. At least one was effective. And this bulge right here is actually the bullet. It penetrated from the other side of the animal, and as you can see, penetrated the ribs of this small deer. Now this is a tiny deer. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it'll field dress 70 pounds. That is not unusual for these deer on Ossabaw Island because these are just small deer. They don't have enough food, so they never get big. When you put them on the mainland, guess what? These things grew to 200 pounders. Yeah, really did. This is not a small race of deer. They just don't have enough food to get any bigger. So that's why we need to reduce the deer population here and why, in particular, this special hunt is allowed. Would I hunt deer with this revolver or shoot at an uninjured deer with this revolver? Not really. Uh, this is useful for those shots just as I did for finishing crippled or wounded game. I do hunt with percussion muzzle-loading revolvers sometimes, and some of these will develop 500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy and are effective deer killers on middling to average sized deer. But in an emergency situation, when the animal is wounded, 
and you need to finish it. This did the job. The bottom revolver is one of those I actually use, and here's the deer it took, and here's another with a Rugal O army. Now haul out the deer on a sled. Here you see the deer being hung up to be skint in front of the cooler. Now I'll move up and show you the entrance hole. Now that's where the 44 caliber ball entered, and it killed the deer. Now I'm the author of Extreme Muzzle Loading, and also my flagship publication, Backyard Deer Hunting, and also have crossbow hunting, and another practical bow fishing. Yeah, you can get some fish too. The average size island doe was two and a half years old, and it had a gutted weight of 53 pounds and weighed between 60 and 70 pounds. Now, three of the revolver's shots actually struck the moving deer. One was far back in the flank, another clipped the rear spine, and the fatal shot that you saw through both lungs. For more information on my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures, go to my website, www.hoveysmith.com Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.